Today I decided to take my latest uh, airbrush acquisition out for a test run. I just got it in the mail today and here is the case. This is um, not your typical clamshell case, it's wood base. Um, in fact the form from the inside that holds the airbrush is also made out of wood. It's covered with a velvet covering. It is a Theron Chandler airbrush um, based on the body style and the case type. I'm placing this airbrush about the 1920s. I've already got it loaded up. Here's the airbrush itself. It's uh, quite a nice looking airbrush. It was in very good shape considering its um, age. A little bit of nickel plating missing off the very front here but the needle was in remarkably good shape. It was bent and it needed some polishing which I've taken care of already and it did not come with a color cup so fortunately I had several extras and um, got it all hooked up and let's uh, give her the test run here. The action on it is remarkably smooth. I've had some much uh, younger examples of the Model A that I've purchased in the past that uh, were not nearly as well cared for. But even at 40 PSI, I don't know, yeah, almost 40. Actually, I should probably turn that down. They usually run at around 30, 30 to 35. Yeah, that might be too low. There. That's better. This is still a good precision piece of uh, airbrushing equipment. It still works quite nicely considering its its age. Very smooth. There, the trigger button comes back really nice, and I'm very pleased with this. almost 100 years old and can still do a really decent hairline. So that's it. That's my 1920s Theron Chandler Model A airbrush.